believable. Check out headsmen packing their load, leaving a boiling bush they have what occupied. My people is happening. We all know that and we've been bringing you up today that um, Nandi Kano has launched out a security outfit in the East, ESN, which is, as we speak, being chased by Nigerian government. And um, honestly speaking, I don't understand the rationale behind it. The, I mean, IPOBs or indigenous people of Biafra has not, you know, um, kidnapped anybody or done any of those crimes. Rather than what they are crying for, I know that they are agitated that they want their own republic. However, this uh, occurrence of a new security outfit being put together, we've seen their training camp, we've seen their pictures and what have you, is being condemned by Nigerian government. The rationale about that, I don't really understand. Right now, it has started happening. Their effect is being felt already in the east, Ebony states where Fulani headsmen have occupied the bushes, are beginning to pack their bag and baggages and return. Let's understand all that is going on. You know, unbelievable. Check out Fulani headsmen pack load, leaving Ebony bushes they have occupied. Few hours ago, we stumbled into a post on Facebook where photos of some Fulani headsmen were seen. Sean, Sean packing their properties to leave a boy in state bushes where they occupied for a long time. This could be for fear of unknown or probably they are traveling to their hometown to celebrate the new year with families and friends. Only God really knows. It was reported by comrade Alafe Afraid who shared the post and the photos on his timeline according to what he said. The alleged Fulani headsmen were occupying the bush located at Ozobi in Imo in, in, in Eboi, local government area, Eboi State. And from what was of you observed, the Fulani headsmen were packing out their properties. However, from other people's reaction to this, it was clear that the alleged Fulani headsmen packed their properties because of what Anandi Kano, leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, Eastern security outfit organizer allegedly broadcasted on January the 1st, 2020. As a matter of fact, it's no news that Nandi Kano has established a new security outfit called the Eastern Security Network, ESN, which was generated, which has generated a lot of concern among Nigerians and other federal government. It was reported a few days ago that the Nigerian military were combing the forest in the east in search of the ESN group. Below are some of the reports, and the, you will hear Nigerians' reaction. Information that came on the 2nd of January 2021, the Fulani headsmen occupying our bushes at Ozobi, Ebony State, local government area, packing out their properties with two trucks after Nandi Kano broadcast on the 1st of January. This is as a result of the work of the Eastern Security Network, ESN, and our leader's position on zero tolerance on Fulani terrorism in Biafra land. So here are some of the pictures. Uh, a cl closer look at the above pictures show that the alleged Fulani headsmen have destroyed their tents and are moving their properties to the standby truck, which they would take back to the north. Beds, gallons and other household items could be seen in the photos meanwhile nigerians have reached to their de reached this development in a mixed reaction after the post went viral on social media some people allege that the fulani headsmen who reside in the forest prefers to do so because they don't like paying house rent why others gave their own reasons for the headsmen action in diverse you know reactions one said, good job, they should go back home and go and pay rent. Others said, our bush and forest are not meant for them. Another one said, why is it difficult to, for them to live in the city? And they prefer to do bushness in the bush and commit atrocities. Others said, they should go and pay rent and occupy the legal resettlement rather than staying in the bush where things can happen with nobody paying attention. I mean, there are different reactions. Some said, don't scatter Ibo land, though. let the land be in peace, leave the full and headsmen. Others said, don't let the government stop them, they should run away. Others said, David Umayi will not allow them to go. He has signed a pact with Buhari. I mean, the, 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 the comments are endless. It just goes on and on and on and on. But what's happening is, you know, some of our bushes, 
yes, some of our bushes in the in different parts of the country, even in the north, some of our bushes have been occupied by people who are not even citizens of Nigeria. That's the honest truth. They come from Nigeria Republic, other places, and Nigerian government has not told them that Nigeria is not a place to just come and occupy. Things have to be done decently and in order. If you want to travel overseas, don't you go to take a passport. Those that go by bush, we see what happened. We see what happened to them. So if you want to travel, you do it in a proper legal way so that you don't encounter problem. You know, and even if there is problem, you are able to quickly navigate and do something rather than, you know, they're able to tell you your papers are not correct or you are, you are, you know, they, 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 they are sent back rather than, you know, going through untold, suffer, hardship. A lot is going on and we all need to be wise. A lot is currently happening in this country. So Nigeria can only, can only move forward if things are done well. You know, if things are done well. So a lot of things is going on presently now as we speak. The Fulani headsmen in the East are being asked to leave the way, to leave uh, uh, the East because uh, they believe that most of them are causing atrocities evil. However, there are still some other people, but the Fulani headsmen should not create that opportunity. I mean, those most of them, before when we were growing up, we are coming into you know other parts of the country to to, to have a legal business and to you know, go on with their business and their duty. However, when Buhari's government started encouraging them to come and tell them that Nigeria is a safe haven, like Ghana sent them away, other African countries sent them away and said, if you must stay here, you must abide by the laws and order, the rules. But Nigerian government did not put anything in place. In fact, they celebrate them when they commit evil. Up until today, nobody has been arrested with, with, with information with regards to the boys. What happened to the boys? Not a single person has been arrested, yet they all know. Can't you, don't you get what we're ta talking about? Yet they know who committed this atrocity. They all know about it. They know who committed this atrocity. They know. They know who, who adopted the boys. They know where the other boys are, but, I mean, they can't be bothered. They can't be bothered. So, I mean, it's happening. It's really happening as we speak. You see, it's really happening. So let's get on and make here, why the sun shine? Let's not give ourselves that opportunity or put ourselves in a position where, you know, our, our place become unsafe. The Eastern Security Outfit, if it's going to help people, help life and property to be better, you know, put secure, help to bring about security. I think that's a good thing. But again, that's my opinion. We'd like to hear from you. Please leave us a comment. Don't forget to like or share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless you. Bye for now.